Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon. Today we're talking about Ryobi this week. What are some of the major things going on? Well, I'm going to tell you. The biggest thing going on with Ryobi uh, this week is the Ryobi Link system. Now, I know you all have seen it. I know you've heard about it. But this is like a system I've never seen before. So it's a modular system. It's a stackable system, kind of like what uh, DeWalt and Milwaukee and other people have. But this system is just a little bit different because not only is it a mobile stacking system, but it's also a tool organization system. Now, Ryobi today put out a pretty lengthy video explaining all the different things that you can do with it, how you attach it, and I've got to tell you, you really need to check this video out. So I'm going to post a link down in the bottom. Go ahead and check it out. Right here as I've been talking, you've seen the link. You've seen a little bit of a preview that you can uh, see there. It's going to be coming out soon, so really keep your eyes peeled. You do not want to miss this one. This one is a game changer. Now, not only are we going to be talking about uh, some of the things that Ryobi is doing, some of the new technology, some of the great new systems, but hey, let's talk about some of the sales. Right now, they have a great sale going on. You can get two of these HP 4 amp hour batteries at Home Depot for $100. Now, these are typically $100 a piece, so get these while you can. Get You get two of them. Now, some of the great things that you're going to be able to use these with and get the extra power with is the is something like the circular saw, the sawzall, uh, the new half inch drill. It all uses that HP technology and it really makes a huge difference. So don't miss out on that sale. Another great thing going on is Direct Tools. They have a great lighting sale going on. Always keep your eyes peeled. Direct Tools is the wholesale for Ryobi. Uh, they take a lot of the returns from Home Depot. They refurbish them. They sell them again. You really want to see that type of stuff. Hey, take a look at it. Now, within this series that I'm going to be doing weekly, we're also going to be checking out social media and some of the great stuff that Ryobi fans are putting out there. DIY, just entertainment, and then good questions that people are bringing up that we really need to share to the broader community. So Michael Dean is creating TikToks. A lot of them are for Ryobi, and they're pretty funny. So check it out here. And then also go check out his TikTok. Uh, subscribe to it. You don't want to miss them because they're actually pretty funny. Uh, Michael Dean is part of the Ryobi Freaks group. So if you go on Facebook, look up Ryobi Freaks. You're going to see all of his TikToks. You're going to see a lot of content there. Next up, we're going to check out the Ryobi Revolution group. And on this group, they're doing something a little bit different. And I have to applaud them uh, pretty well because they're giving back to the community in a bit of a different way. So some of their members are actually creating uh, do-it-yourself videos. And in this video, this is Joseph Largen. Now this guy is going to show us how to use the cordless Ryobi soldering gun and he's going to show us how to use the Ryobi heat gun. Now when you're using the soldering gun, this is something that not a lot of people are familiar with. So he actually takes you step by step on how to solder two wires together and then how to use heat shrink to connect it and to make sure that there's no danger to get shocked on that too and he uses the heat gun for that. These are the types of videos that really have a lot of substance and they provide a lot of value to people. So check out his page. Um, this is going to be in the Ryobi Revolution. So go ahead and check that out. So this guy is ready to go trick-or-treating. And where else to go trick-or-treating than Home Depot? I love his shirt. I love the bag. <laughs> mm? Shirts look familiar? Yeah, it's great. Uh, so Joe's a great guy. He's a huge fan of Ryobi. He's on multiple pages, but I just want to highlight He's very active, and um, I've got to say he's a pretty lucky guy these days because he's got a lot of care packages coming in the mail. We have Scott Oram. He makes content on YouTube called Dad It Yourself. He's actually going to be showing us how to use the vacuum or the leaf vacuum. It actually mulches it up. It throws it in a bag. Now, a lot of people, this doesn't get a lot of publicity, so he's actually going to show the practical purposes for it. Now, I've always been really interested in this tool, but I've never pulled the trigger on it because simply I always use the leaf blowers. I blow them to a certain area, I mulch them up with my lawn mower, then I collect them, or I just mulch them across the grass and they stay there through the winter, um, and it doesn't really hurt anything. Well, he's going to show you uh, some of the practical purposes on what you can do just to get everything out of your yard, especially in those detailed areas like, you know, a bush or something like that. So if that's something you're interested in, Go ahead and check out Dad It Yourself on YouTube. Now everybody, on this video series, it's not just about me, it's not just about Ryobi, but it's about everyone in the community. I really want to search 
out every social media platform. We want to promote the people that are using these tools. Not people that are just doing demonstrations, but people that are really making a difference doing big projects. So if you would like to be featured on this video series, send me a message. Show me what you're doing. Hey, if it's awesome, if you're dedicated, you know, I will put it on here. Just get in touch with me. I really want to spread the wealth and we want to get out there. We want to spread the message. This is a great company um, that's providing a lot of great tools for a lot of great prices to a huge, diverse um, consumer market. So let's get out there. Let's really test these things out. Let's talk to the people who are using them. Get real feedback. It's not just promoting all the time, but we need to be critical as well. And that brings me to my last point. And we're going to be talking about the new batteries. The one thing I do not like about these batteries is this right here. I don't like that. They used to have a rubber over mold on the bottom of these batteries. Stay tuned on the channel because I'm going to have a video coming out and we're going to solve for this. We are going to fix this problem on all the new batteries and it's not going to harm the battery either. So stick around for that and stay tuned. If you all like the shirt that I have here, this is the Ryobi Wood Grain. Go ahead, check out the link below. Go to my Etsy page. You can pick one up for yourself too. They seem to be pretty popular. And stay tuned every week because I'll be introducing new products, new tools, new tips just for you. If you all like the content that I showed today, hey, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. You gotta hit that notification bell as well. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.